Hey, welcome to All Stars Cars. I'm Glenn, and today I want to show you how I fixed my F-150. I was having an issue with the SYNC system, SYNC 3. Basically, that's Ford's uh, entertainment, communication, infotainment, center console kind of deal. And it has to do with the Bluetooth and navigation and all that fun stuff. But anyway, the problem I was having was the Bluetooth worked fine. I could make a call, receive a call hands-free. And what would happen was if I had the radio on, I had the radio playing, you could hear music. And I'd get a call or, you know, I'd answer the call, it would work or hang up. That's when the problem happened. So I'd hang up or that person would hang up on me, go figure. And the screen would basically lock up. So you could go back to the radio, you could see the channels, but there was no sound coming from the speakers. And I went in there and I'm gonna show you this in the video, how you can tell what version you have. What I did was a master reset. It's right there, you hit a button, reset it, tried that, did not work. Uh, then I tried through the Wi-Fi, the built-in truck Wi-Fi to update. It wouldn't seem to update. And I had version 1.0 and I'm gonna show you that uh, in the video, but the newest version is 3.0. So I guess I missed 2.0 somewhere along the line. Now I did uh, buy that truck brand new. Anyway, there's a couple of different videos online. I started thinking about what can I do to update the software. And there is a Ford update for this that you can get right from the Ford website. We're gonna go down to the laptop back here. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now I went online and it seemed a little bit kind of confusing with what you had to do and everything if you're here for this problem i'm going to show you how to do it it's going to be the simplest one out here it's got to be so don't make it a big deal all you need is a little flash drive like this now everybody's telling you you need a 32 gigabyte so i went ahead and ordered one off of uh, amazon and you really only need an eight so a 16 is fine save your money this little 32 i think i paid six or seven bucks for it shipped i'll leave a link in the description down below and uh, we'll talk about it in a second but anyway why don't we get down to the laptop you know what the problem is if you have any type of ford any newer ford that has sync 3 uh, that came out around 2016 but sync came in a little bit earlier this should help you with your problem so let's get it fixed so the first thing we need to do is format our flash drive here. And this is in a, usually it'll be in a FAT32 format, they'll call it. We need to go to XFAT, E-X-F-A-T. And I'm gonna show you that in a second. So as soon as I plugged it in, what I like about this uh, sand disk is it, you can see it lights up red. Anyway, it just fired up the E drive, which is our external USB here. But what I'll show you is the easy way to format it. So do this first, and I'll explain this step by step. It's fairly simple. Let me, you can't see what I'm doing here. I'll need to zoom in. Let me move the camera and get you a better angle here of the screen. Okay, let's make this as painless as possible. So the first thing we need to do is format the flash drive. Now, most flash drives, when you buy them new, are going to be in an uh, FAT32, they call it, format. So what I found is we need to be, with the Ford uh, software, they want you to be in XFAT, E-X-F-A-T. And let me show you how to do that. Really simply, click Windows. Now, if you're using an Apple Macintosh, I know nothing about Apple Macintosh. All I know, well, I do know two things. One, it's expensive, and two, my kids like it. That's about it. I'm using Windows 10 Microsoft. That's what I use. Um, there are directions and information on the Ford site if you're using Macintosh, so don't sweat it. So what I'll do is I'll go to Documents. I want to go down here to C or E Drive. I just want to show you how to format your flash drive really easily. So I click that. Now I do have the three files already downloaded. Obviously, I've done this earlier, but here you do. Here's what you do. You go to E Drive. You right click. I've got a mouse down here. Come up here to Format. This is the simplest way. Now you can format your drives other ways, but this is the quick way, an easy way for me anyhow. So here's our capacity. That's what we have left for you know memory storage. Uh, we're concerned with the file system here. So we're already in XFAT, but let me show you what you would do. You would probably most likely have, it would say FAT32. You wanna change that. So just click this, left click, click on XFAT, come down here, and you wanna click start right here. So before you do that, keep in mind, if you have anything on that drive, it's going to erase it. 
So if you have pictures, music, whatever files, it's going to clear it, erase it right out. Make sure you back it up, have a copy if you want to keep that stuff. If you don't care, then it doesn't matter. Hit start, boom, you're done. Next time you come back to this page, it should say XFAT, and that's what we've got to have. So anyway, that explains that. Now, when you download the initial software, it's going to download. You don't want to download it to your, your flash drive immediately. They want you to put it to your computer. Your, your C drive is most likely going to be it. Why? I don't know exactly, but I did what they said, and it worked out fine. So you could actually unplug the flash drive right now. It, it wouldn't be necessary at this point. So what we're going to do, let's close this all out. Let's go to Google Chrome. That's what I prefer to use. Uh, you could use Explorer. Um, you know, that's fine too. But anyhow, oops, just clicked it twice. Anyhow, um, you'll need to have an account with Ford. So you go to Ford.com, you know, right up here in your browser, you type Ford.com and it'll say login. So I'm obviously here, it looks like I'm already logged in. There's, I have a 16 F-150. You want to enter now, if you don't have a login, you'll have to register. You put your VIN number in, your name, your personal information, your address, and all that stuff. And what's cool about this site is if you have any open recalls, uh, if obviously software updates, uh, if you do maintenance or get maintenance done at the dealership, it'll remind you of that kind of stuff. So that's what this whole page is about. If you want to find more information about your car, like the warranty or how stuff works on it, this is the place to go. So I'm going to click owner. That's what you would do. And we're interested in here. You have all these titles, support and how to's. We want to come down here to sync software updates. So let me double click that. And right now it says update your sync software. Updates are not available. Obviously in my case, I just updated, we're good to go. If you haven't done the update and you still have sync one or two, you're going to see, uh, it'll say update available and they'll give you a uh, choice, whether it's Apple or uh, Microsoft, whichever one you're using, where to go to download the information. I believe that's what it said. So it's that simple. You'll download that you will save it it'll be saved let's go here you know over in your c drive let me pull that back up again so here here's your c drive so wherever it's saved the file you you can label it mark it it'll be saved there and all you need to do is you would pull that up okay now i can't because it's already i'm already done with this step i'm just telling you let's just say this this thing that says users was our forward software update so we would double click that open it up and then copy, you know, highlight and copy. Let me show you that with a C drive, with the uh, E drive here. So obviously, plug your flash drive back in. That's something you definitely want to do. <laughs> and your flash, your, your, your E will show up here, so you're okay. You can leave it in if you want to. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you save it to C. Then you're going to highlight these. You left click. Okay, left click, left click desk guy. Oops, let me hit control. So I can highlight them all, pushing control and then clicking on all three. And then all you do is put your cursor over top, left click, hold, and then drag with your mouse. You see this? And I would bring this now. Imagine we're in C drive. I would just bring it right down to the, uh, where to go here? The E drive. Come on. Come on, move down. Where are you? There we go. So we'd be right over top of E drive. See, it says move to USB E drive E and let go. And it would take everything from C, transfer it to E. I'll be honest with you, I think it took like a half hour to an hour or something. It was pretty long process. And this is a very fast computer. This is new and it's pretty, uh, pretty quick. So let it do its thing. Once that's transferred to the E drive, okay, you're done. Now what you could do is come down here. There's a way to remove external devices safely. Uh, most of these Microsofts have it. It's this little icon right here. See, it says safely remove. You can click that. And then uh, what SanDisk calls their thing, the cruiser. So eject cruiser. And it says safe to remove hardware. Now you couldn't see it, but the light on the flash drive just went out. So here we go. So I just pop this out. And I'll be honest with you, 99% of the time I never do it. I've never had a problem, but that's the technical way to do it safely. So now what we do is... It's that simple. All we do is take this, 
go to the vehicle. So in this case, we're going to go out to the truck and I'm going to show you uh, what we do next. All right, let's get the party started. So what we want to do first is go to our settings here, go to general, uh, scroll up or down to about. And this is the Sync 3, I don't have navigation in here, version 1.0. So we're at 3.0 now. Hopefully this is going to work. It'll tell you your VIN number and whatever that means, the Grace Note version. So if we go back, we want to make sure that our system updates are on. And this one is, it's set to on so that it can automatically update. This one doesn't appear to be doing so. And uh, it says last check for updates, July 10th, 2000. Well, I know that's completely wrong because I special ordered this truck and had it built. And uh, April 2016 is when I got the truck. Brand spanking new, so I'm not sure what that's about. Anyway, we're going to give this a shot. I'm just going to go back to the main screen here and then down below in the F-150. Now, if you have a uh, crew cab or super cab, you don't want to use the back USB ports use the front the backs are only for charging uh, so we've got our this is for data up here we've got our SD card and let's slide this in let me see which way I gotta go here and hopefully this thing's gonna update so I just plugged it in okay that's a good sign so right away it said update system updating software so now what I'll do is instead of waiting now the Ford website says this can take five to 30 minutes by the way I do have the truck running so I also believe I read on the site you can drive you know while it's doing this too if you need to go somewhere you just def definitely don't want the battery to die on you or lose power so I'll keep this rolling when this finally does hopefully says you know update complete or whatever it's going to tell us while this thing's updating let me show you the cell phone holder that Van Moss had sent me for review uh, it works really good. It's, it attaches to the vent. It's got a USB cord. Now, that's a good point that Ford says when you're updating the software, make sure everything's unplugged from that USB so data isn't transferred and doesn't confuse the module, I guess. But anyway, check this out. You put your phone in here. You push it back, and these little fingers grab it. You see that? Well, I don't want that, whatever that was. Anyway, um, it's really cool because it'll charge it, and uh, it works really nice. It's pretty secure. It doesn't bounce around too much. I like it. And then when you're done, you just hit this little button on the side. Watch the little fingers open up. See that? It even makes a cool sound. Listen. Oh, you got to love it just for that. Anyhow, I'll fire the camera back up as soon as we're done uh, updating. Alrighty, so I was just sharpening some knives. Came back and checked. So it's been about a half hour. It says installation complete. You can now remove your device or USB um then uh, fx next time okay so what we got to do is we're going to take this out just pop this out of here right that's out and what we'll do now is that's funny the fan out there the fan motor just like revved up so we'll close this we'll stop this oh good i'm glad we're on mute def leopard's playing <laughs> anyway so I'll shut that off, and now I pulled the key out. Car, truck's not running. I'm going to open the door, which will kill the power to the radio, because otherwise this will stay on for like 10 minutes to that module. It's on a timer. Open the door. I'm going to shut the door. Fire back up. Let's see what it tells us now. Let's see what happens. Oh, got to go mute. It won't let me mute. Oh, don't demonetize me. Let me turn my volume down. For some reason, I'm hitting the steering wheel, the mute button, and it's not muting. Oh, there it is. It just muted now. Let's see. No, it didn't mute. That's weird. Okay, something crazy is going on. Well, let's go to let's go to settings, general. Oh, it just said connecting there. Let's see what it's going to say. Nope. Okay, let's go to settings, general. Let's see what version we have now. And we're still at version one. Version one. What the heck? All right, maybe it just didn't go through yet. It needs more time to update. Okay, well, 
I will get out of this. I'll shut the truck and let it, I'll give it like 10 minutes to really shut the module down and then we'll, we'll uh, fire it back up. Been about 10, 15 minutes. Let me start the truck, see what happens. All right, there we go. Oh, shoot, let me take the, uh, got to I don't want to get demonetized. The uh, Sync 3 now is at version 3.0. So just had to let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes and restarted. And we should be updated now. So that's cool. And hopefully all my troubles are gone, right? Yeah. <laughs> I could only wish. So I hope the thing doesn't freeze up anymore. But it's good to know. Let me see something here. Let me go to the... Uh, well, it probably still has, it won't check for updates for a while, but hopefully it will now. Let's see, what was it? Uh, right there. So, we'll see. Last checked, you know, back before this truck was built, 16 years before it was built. We'll see what happens with that. I'm keeping the uh, system updates on. Let's see, do you want to turn on? Yes, I do. And uh, we should be good there. Alrighty, back to Iron Maiden. Good news is the SYNC 3 is fixed. So now when I make calls or receive calls and there's a hang up, the radio is not freezing up. Now I didn't show you that. It's, you know, it's simple enough. I'm telling you, take my word for it. You saw I had version one. Now we've got version three and that was the cure. The font's a little bit different now where the radio channel labels or tabs are, which is fine. Uh, I do think the date or not the date, but the time and the temperature are a little larger. So that's a good thing. Anyway, the Sync 3 works. I can get back to jamming the Ozzy's Boneyard. That's what counts. And uh, this little flash drive here saved the day. So it's a free update. Go ahead and you know do it if you're having problems. I suggest you try that. If you did the master reset, it's not working. Make sure you got version 3.0. This is, what's today? Like March 4th, 2020, as of this point. So I'm sure there'll be a 4.0 sometime in our future. Anyway, I hope the video was helpful to you. Smash that like button down there. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Ring the bell. Uh, questions and comments if you have any uh, you know problems with this or you're a little confused on something I didn't cover please leave it down below I try to make this as simple as possible it's really not difficult so don't get overwhelmed you can do it um, as far as plugging this back in it said step four after you do the update plug that back into your laptop I don't know if it erases this or what I didn't do it it didn't matter the truck works that's all that counts to me. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy.